Hello, my name is Kevin with Velux, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the ID dip switches on your PTZ camera, and then how to set it up properly through the Velux NVR-64, so therefore the screen that you access, you can access the camera and fully control the camera. On the PTZ, some of the PTZs that you will see will also have a dome depending if it's an indoor or outdoor PTZ. As we see right here, we have the full PTZ right here that we have setting in front of us. On this PTZ, this is an outdoor so there's no dome, but it would be in a housing. Once you take the PTZ down, you will have a small hex screw located right here. You will loosen this hex screw, which I've already have. Once you loosen this hex screw or take out the hex screw, you will be able to slide and turn the top of the PTZ off. Here on the PTZ you will find these dip switches located right here. The first set of dip switches is for the ID. The second one is for the baud rate and everything, and that's only if you're using an RS4 or RS485 connection and you're not going to be using the IP controller. Right now, as we can see, the PTZ right now ID is set to 3. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together, and we're going to go ahead and hook it up on our network, and I'm going to show you how to set up the IDs and everything on the Velux NVR system. Here I have the Velux PTZ or IP PTZ already connected to our network and configured. On configuring it, you go to c camera assignment and I have it on camera 3 because the ID of the camera was 3. If I had the camera ID as 1, I would probably put it here and then 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 16. Be sure that you have port 554 open on your router for the IP that the camera is set at. You may need to open different ports for different IPs on your camera if you use more that are different IPs. Also, the default channels are 1, which normally 1 is your default channel on all of them. Once you have this, these configurations will no longer work unless you have it set up in your administration. You go to the admin page and the default password is root. It is not root like it was on the camera assignment. It is root here and admin all lowercase is the default password. Here we'll bring up the basic setup of the IP camera. You would want to go down to the PTZ setup. Here you would find the PTZ device ID. Since the dip switches on this one is set up as 3, we would need to make this 3. At default, this will be 1, so therefore the, the PTZ control functions that you have on the camera will no longer work unless you have this set to the correct ID that you change the dip switches to. So this is where if you have more than one IP camera and you would like to control them by going from different channel to channel, you would have to have this one labeled as ID1, ID2, ID3, ID4, ID5, ID6, and then you would go to the administrative panel here, type in roots, I mean root as password, admin as the default password and you would need to go into each PTZ and set up the channel 1, 2, 3, 4 on each PTZ so therefore when you click on this one you'll be able to use these functions on that camera you'll be able to use the functions on the camera by just clicking on the camera right now since we've got it set up we can zoom even farther in and we can zoom farther out now since we have the ID set up properly and this is how you would configure the 
the dip switches on the IP camera and configured the MVR and the admin properties under the PTZ controller properties where you can control each PTZ by just clicking on the video and then having full access of that PTZ as soon as you click on it. Thank you very much for watching this presentation of the Valux PTZ cameras.